Hello. Hello, 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 hello. How is it going, everybody? Welcome to a surprising and new Mouth Plays. This is Mouth Plays Ooblets. Now, the game's existence is not a surprise to me. I've actually, uh, a while back, a few years ago, kind of saw it and was like, hmm, that looks interesting. Um, but the surprise was that it is out in early access now uh, for all to uh, to try. And uh, so it was a, a fun surprise to get to, to be able to play it um, earlier today. I actually spent a few hours playing it uh, live on stream, kind of figuring it out. And I thought to myself, you know, this could be a fun game to have a nice, casual, relaxing playthrough here on YouTube as well. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, if you're wondering what Ooblets is, the most simple way to describe it is kind of like if you took Pokemon and Stardew Valley and Animal Crossing and kind of mashed them all up. And that's, that's what you get. You'll see uh, very shortly here what I mean by that when we get into it. But Basically, Ooblets are, you know, what we would kind of call the Pokemon. And you can battle them, but it's not a fight so much. It's a dance battle. They dance, and it's pretty nifty. There's a lot of bopping music. And when you win, when you defeat other Ooblets in the battle, they you get a seed from that Ooblet, and then you plant that seed in your garden, Stardew Valley style, or Animal Crossing style, and you care for it, and you water it, and after a few days, it'll pop up, and then that Ooblet is now, it's going to join your dance crew. It's pretty nifty, so, um, and of course, there's also this little town that we will go around, and they need your help fixing stuff up, and chores, and all that, so it's, like I said, Pokemon Stardew Valley-ish, um, Animal Crossing, and there's a few other uh, games I'm sure you'll see uh, that inspired this. So, anyways, uh, I'm gonna do a new save file, and we're gonna get into it. What's your name, buddy? Well, it is Mouth. It is Mouth. So let's go with that, and uh, done it. And the cool thing is. You get to do, uh, I mean, well, the, to start here, we get to customize, but there's more hairstyles and, and fashion and different stuff in the town as we get going. So I'm pale. We're going to stay pale. Um, hairdo, again, for now, I'm going to stick with this basic one, but there are more. That one's pretty sweet, though. There's no gender select, which is awesome. Yeah, I do have brown hair. So, I'm going to do pretty similar to how I did it on my live stream, which is this sweet green flannel shirt. I like it a lot. Let's go. Your life has been a giant toot. Toot toot. <laughs> so far, you spend all of that tooty life on the isolated Aro Island where the people are stuffy and there aren't even any ooblets. It's true, not, not a single ooblet. That's why you decided to leave. I'm in a sweet boat. I'm very colorful. The captain's name is Dante. You're off to the distant shores of mainland Oob. Oh, dude, I'm starting to get seasick. A place you've only heard vague tales of. A fabled land of oddity, creativity, and... Dot, dot, dot. Ooblets. Look at that. This is a heckin' sweet-looking town, eh? This is Mayor Tinsel. Oh, Biddle Boy. So here's your warning. It's a fun warning. They got all sorts of fun little words and 
verbiage and language you've probably never heard of. They made up words. But it's fun. It's cute. This game is cute. It's wholesome. And it's also got a little... It's got a, a sense of humor about it. You will see that as we interact with uh, various uh, uh, folks in the town. Are you from Ooblet High Council? Is this a surprise inspection? Did I fail? I, uh, no. I'm Mouth from Arrow Island. Oh then, how do? Welcome to Badge Town. My name is Tinsel, and I'm the mayor. What can I help you with? We're gonna start a new life somewhere, possibly here. Splenda! Were you looking to buy a house? Maybe invest in the local economy? I've got no money, dude. And I have no skills, no personal possessions. A true entrepreneur then. I'm just desperate. I can work with this though. Yeah, I've been needing a helper for my ever expanding mayoral. I can't say that word. Mayoral, mayoral, mayor, mayoral, mayoral, mayoral <laughs> task list. And there's an old abandoned farmhouse you can have. If you help me with all the junk I gotta do around here. You win? Free houses don't just get offered every day. In incredibly true. I'm in. Fantastic. First off, wait. Where are your ooblets? I don't got any. You know that. Huh? Not even an oogum? It's gonna be tough to do much without ooblets here. Well, your local ooblets club will probably be able to give you one. What ooblet are you? What ooblet club are you in? Listen, I don't got ooblets. So why would I be in a club? What? what sort of? No bother. You can just join one here. Let me fetch our local club leaders, and you can introduce yourself to some townsfolk. In the meantime. All right. So first, we gotta talk to eight people. Controls are fairly simple. You know, you you waddle around. Right trigger is run. Oh, they won't let me pick this up just yet. All right. So we got to focus, though, on uh, talking to eight people. Ara. Hey, get back here. Digging your whole dealie you got going on. Very confused chic. I'm Mouth, and I'm new here. Favorite type of person. One I don't know yet. I'm... All right. There's one person down. Oh, Milu. Oh, Milu. I'm telling you, he's, he's a chore to deal with. I'm Milu. I saw your boat pull in. So are you some sort of rich tourist come to buy all our postcards and novelty t-shirts? No, I'm out, and I'm looking to start a new life here. Oh, bleh. What am I supposed to do with all these novelty t-shirts? You know, wipe your butt with them. These are ooblets. New ooblets spotted. a dumb burb. So you're going to see there's like shells and there's wood. There's different things on the ground we'll be able to collect in time and... We'll be able to dance with the kind of wild ooblets. And dancing basically means fighting, you know, battling. We could pick this up normally, but we can't right now. All right, Mead. How do, dearie? My number's not up, is it? I'm Alpha, I'm moving to the old farmhouse. Oh good, I'm Mead and I run the little gardening shop here, so I'll, I guess we'll be seeing a lot of each other. I do like Mead, she sells seed. Mead seeds. If you have any spare produce, you can sell it to me. And if anyone starts asking too many questions, tell me first. Nice to make your acquaintance, Mead. Charles! You're standing awfully close to me. Oh, hi, I'm Alpha, and I'm new in town. Suppose you'll be wanting to know my name now, huh? It's okay. You can tell me when you're ready. Okay, fine. I'm Charles. I make clothes at my shop. Keep on bond uh. and shake your hand, but I don't do that. All right. So long, Charles. I think this is his shop. Yep. Let's go back this way. You can also shake the trees. See, there's like f fruit stuff on here. You can shake it and you can sell it or you can eat it or you can craft stuff with it. Rugnolia. R Rugnolia. Yeah, the researcher's assistant I requested three years ago. Nope. Introductions. Okay, sure. I'm Rugnolia. And I operate the learning. Learnery. <clears throat> we 
which serves a variety of purposes too complicated to get into right now. And if you're going to be sticking around, you should have this. Yo, give me that book. This is our encyclopedia. Keeps track of all your tasks, items, friends, that sort of thing. I guess it's more than an encyclopedia, but that's, that's part of it. How does it do all that? Science and magic and junk. You'll figure it all out or you won't. I have no metric of your aptitude for these sorts of things. I wouldn't expect you to. We just met. All right. So we can open it up. You can see uh, there's me on the left. We'll, uh, we'll explore some of this stuff more closely as we go. But uh, Wishy Well is like a... You get uh, wishies for doing various things in the game. And then when you have enough wishies, you can unlock basically uh blueprints for stuff so in the plant as or in the game as i mentioned there are plants and stuff and you have to water them so this is like a, a sprinkler upgrade of sorts so we could buy the blueprint and then we can craft it and then we can use it um we can buy the uh the seed expansion so there's so many seeds in the game to start but if you do this, it, it opens up and adds more. Same with the ooblets. And then as well, you could use wishies just to get actual consumables. Speedy Grow is a fertilizer for your plants. Gummy is the the form of currency in, in the ooblets world universe. And uh, so on and so forth. So there's more stuff, but we'll get back to that. Um, and uh, we've got our clothing, furniture. We'll have our farmhouse. We can eventually furnish it, buy furniture, so on and so forth. And then up top, friends. So these are the people we've met. They tell you, you know, their location, the club they're in, the Ooblets Club, or if they're not in one. And uh, eventually there's going to be like a friendship kind of meter. The more you talk to them, the more uh, friendly they become. Ooblets, we've got none. Badges, currently have none, but you get them for doing various things in the game. Farming, helping, ooblitting, collecting, so on, you know, friendships, all, all that good stuff. Pretty basic. And then there's our almanac. So here we can see ooblets. And then you've got, um, so there's like a common ooblet, uncommon, and then gleamy. Uh, gleamy are like shinies. And then there's also, you know, the different crops we can grow, various recipes that we know, so you can make different stuff. And the thing about these recipes here is that in order to battle or to dance against some of the ooblets, you, you basically got to give them something to initiate the battle. Um, so some of them will be like, yo, give me a hop dob or give me, give me a quib tart or so on and so forth. And then these found items. These are things we're going to find throughout the world as we kind of clean it up. Anyways, it's pretty, pretty simple. Then we've also got an inventory, but we don't have any, uh, any items on us. So hello, Polt. Howdy doody. Looking for a bun? Yeah, bub. <laughs> don't know why I said it that way. I don't think so. I'm just moving to town. No, honestly, I would like a bun though. To badge town. Well, I'm Polt, local bungle bee delivery fella. Here's a little gift from the Bungle Bee Company to welcome you to, uh, to our own. Bungle Bee Bun. Nice and soft, a good source of energy, contains 40 energy, and he gave us 10 of them. So, the finest pre-packaged, uh, tree bees in Oop. Eat Bungle Bee Buns for a quick energy boost. Easy boost, uh, to your energy and mood, probably. So you can't see right now, but eventually in the top right, you'll see, like, a, uh... There is energy. It's pretty basic. It's not too much of a hindrance. But when you're doing various tasks and stuff throughout the world, it will consume energy. And uh, you want to keep it up. So you need to eat, eat stuff. Taffy. Taffy do. Yes, it's true. Okay, then. I'm out. Go away now. I like it. Nice and simple. I'm going to have to clean up those cans later. And dabble. A customer. What can I get you? Bean juice? Spressy? Sorry, I don't actually have any money. Not winning customer of the month so far. I'm sorry. When you do scrounge up some, spend it here at Cuddle Cups. I'm double nice for the best and only bean juice in town. 
Oh yeah, wait until I learn the recipe. Splenda, everyone is here now. So basically, Ooblet clubs are little slow social groups that each have their own themes and personalities. These are our local Ooblet club leaders. Club leaders. Thought I'd let them each give you a quick pitch to see what they're about. Melda of Friend Buns. We'd love to have you join Friend Buns. We're delightful. So that's Tud. How's it going, Tud? Basil. Peak snubs don't do pitches. You should be pitching to me. This guy, I'm telling you, he's got a he's got an attitude problem. Biddle does look pretty fierce though. Oh yeah, they say the club for sweet cuties who love cute things. The club of born leaders, strong competitors, and just generally successful people. Videon. I don't really know what to say about Mippins or what to do with my hands. This guy's a trip. He's like an alien or something. And then there's side key. The club for clever people who aren't very good at social interactions. And then outgrid. If you like adventure, the outdoors, and nature, you should join me at Moss Sprouts. Moss Sprouts. And then this is Shrumbo. The club for woodsy, outdoorsy types who love a good adventure. So that's it. So what I did on uh, my other, my game save, I totally went outgrid. And uh, I kind of want to do that again, but I also kind of want a little bit of variety. I'm kind of thinking Tud here looks pretty cool, man. They all look pretty fun. You know what though? Let's just try, let's just try Tud. We're gonna go to friend buns, just to mix it up. Just to mix it up. It, it, it wouldn't be my number one choice, but because I've already tried out Shrumbo, we're gonna join uh, friend buns. I got friend buns of steel, baby. I knew you'd pick us. Got the cutest, patootest baby ooblet for you to love and care for. Yo, he's pretty cute. How's it going, Todd? Ah, oh, you two look like a perfect match. It's true, we are a delightful match. Now that you've got an ooblet, you should try getting into a dance-off. Ooblets are mysterious creatures, and they apparently love dancing. It's very important to them. All we can do is support their interests and set up elaborate, contrived, competitive dance scenarios for them to show off in. You'd be amazed at the sort of conflicts that get resolved through the medium of dance. Oh, here comes a worthy competitor that you practice. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Dance challenge from Lump Stump. Uh, yeah. Here's where you pick which ooblets you want to dance. You only have one, so it's easy for you to choose. Let's go. So yeah, this is where, you know, if you have multiple ooblets, sometimes you might be doing a battle against multiple other ooblets. Um, or, you know, a fewer. So you kind of, you get to pick which ones you want. And they are different, not only in their appearance, but different ooblets have different dance moves that do uh, different things so there is some strategy to it but it's not super complex or anything i think most people will pick it up pretty quickly oh yeah and there's sweet tunes so each turn you draw random dance moves for you to choose from you have some basic moves that will always be available each ooblet also has its own unique move with some experience they can learn new moves moves cost beats and you get fresh beats to use each or every turn. To start with, you'll draw four moves and have three beats per turn. Some moves increase your points, lower your opponents, uh, or do other junk. The goal is to get to this number of points before your opponent. So in this fight, it's 20. It's not always 20, it changes from one fight to the next. Um, so yeah, in the bottom left of the beats, basically that's the energy or your mana, whatever you want to call it. And then on the card, you see in the top left um, how many to play that card. So, um, we could play Lil Lindy here and earn two points towards our goal of 20. And then I could also play um, this little trot and gain four points. And that would use up our, our three beats for this turn. Now, you might think, oh, that's pretty cool. 
Or actually, this one would make more sense. It costs three, but you get seven, so it's worth more than both of those. But, hype. Hype increases the power of dance moves. So what this does is, if I were to play this card, now all of these would be plus one points earned. So we, instead of two, we'd gain three. Instead of four, we'd gain five. Instead of seven, we'd gain eight. Um, and this will apply moving forward. So hype is, is something pretty good to get early on. You kind of invest in it early, and then it'll start to pay dividends down the road. So I'm definitely going to play this. Boom. Oh, yeah. There you go, Todd. Right? So now we only have two beats left, so we can't play this card. But I can play this one. And now it's worth five instead of four. Bup, 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 bup. And there are cards that counteract hype. So it'll make it so our cards are worth less than one, or less um, points. So you can play that on the opponent, they can get played on you. So we'll end our turn. All right, Dainty Dip, three points. Twizzle Sizzle, one point. I am unafraid. So, oh, this is good stuff. So we've got another one that gains us hype. And hype there. This one costs two, though. But this is a, a Tud card. So it's a better card because it only costs us one beat to play. Versus this one that costs two. So I'm for sure going to play this one this turn. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then rather than... I, I wouldn't mind playing another hype. But uh, I think I think we'll be okay to just get some, some big points here. Definitely want to stay ahead and uh, not fall behind. Another Twizzle Sizzle. You got you to gotta step it up, brother. Twizzle Sizzles and Dainty Dips ain't going to win you. At this point, I actually don't think I need more hype. So this one, we can add a move to your hand, so it costs us one, but we might draw something. Um, that said, I'm not too worried about that. Um, oh, steal five points, sorry. So this one, we can earn six points for two. This one... Technically, we get five points, but we're taking five points away from the opponent. So that's pretty good. So really, it's it's creating a 10-point gap, which is very nice. Oh, parade. All right, at this point, we just need four points to win. So I could play this, but you could also BM. Oh, gain a beat. That one's nice. Cost zero. So now we have four beats or four energy. Again, I don't need it. I'm just BMing at this point. But I'm going to drop the hype. So now you can see this flip floss has gone from nine points to ten. So all total in the bottom left, you can see those three little uh, orange flame things. We played three hypes. So by default, flip floss would give us uh, seven points. But with the three additional hypes, it's now 10. That's pretty good. And you're done. You win. Look at me go. So we gained 40 XP. And because we won, we get a seed from the, uh, the opposing... Ooblet. Now, if we were fighting against multiple Ooblets, you only get one seed. There's always like a, an Ooblet group leader, so you'll get the seed from, from that one. So, yeah, we'll take your seed. Now, this is the best part. Good job, little lump stump. You did great. They poop out the seed. Okay, cool. Plant me to grow a new friend. Dun, 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 dun. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Anywho, you should head to your farmhouse now and get settled in. Bump, bump, bump. Meet Tinsel at the farmhouse. So again, there's still uh, 
UI elements that are hidden. We'll, we'll unlock them. So we'll just go on over to the homestead. Put up churls. Oh yeah, we can run. Skirt. Here we are. My home is crying. House. It's not much right now. But what do you expect for a free house? I, I, I'm totally okay with the fixer upper. I, I actually quite enjoy the prospect. I'm sure you'll be able to fix it up and make it real pretty. Maybe add some bunting. Bunting always helps. Not in baseball. Wow, what a junkyard. I mean, a very unique property with a lot of potential. Brought you a couple things to get you started with your farm. Sweet beady seed. It's so basically beets. We got three of them. A sweet root vegetable, which can be used to create fructose. Takes three days to grow. Fructose is kind of like uh, sugar in the game. And a basic scraper. Give it a shot. Just don't dig deeper than six feet down anywhere around here. Ha 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 ha. All right. So, select the scraper. You Down at the bottom, we got left and right bumper. You can also play uh, keyboard and mouse, of course. But I'm playing on the uh, Xbox 360. You're not 360, but Xbox One controller. And uh, so there we go. And then if we hold left trigger, it enables farming mode. So this is where there's like a grid system, which makes it nice and easy. And we can start to till. So I'm gonna start in the top right corner here. And you see, it's got like five and a lightning bolt, that's energy. So it costs us five energy to till this. And then we're gonna do this. I think they're giving us this energy for free. And there's our third one. Now, we'll change to our seed, plant for one energy, plant, plant. Splenda, now you just need to water. Here's a dribbly can you can use, a basic dribbler. <laughs> That's what I named my, uh, you know what? Never mind. Fill it up with water from the tap and use it to water your seeds. Free water? What? All right, so now we got a water. The cool thing about this, it's not like uh, Animal Crossing. I can't, you can't trample these, which is nice. All right, we'll water you. And you. And you. You got it. All you have to do is water the crops each day and harvest them once they're fully grown. Already pro at farming, maybe semi-pro. You'll improve. No, I'm a pro. Anywho, you must be pretty tired. Go get some rest and I'll check in on you tomorrow morning. Good night. All right. I think I'm going to bed so early. We're gonna do this. I'm planting my little seed. My lump stump, and then we're gonna water them. Now I'll go to sleep. Go to sleep. So we've got a little uh, a, uh, a hot plate here, and uh, there's various recipes. Of course, we can learn other recipes, but these ones here, in the kind of like the dark grayish blue, we don't know the recipe, and then these ones we do know. And they show you the the ingredients if we're to make them and how much energy you get and all that that good stuff. And then this is our old luggage, so we can store just a few things in here. And then this on the right side is our personal inventory, which we can also expand upon later. And this is our sweet, sweet, comfortable bed. It's so cold. Alrighty, we slept with the watering can. I'm so lonely. Water your plants again. All right, we're gonna just top it up while we're here. Okay. So look at that, our little ooblet. Okay, actions like watering use up your energy. 
you can now see how much energy you have here. So that's in the top right. It shows you kind of what time of day it is, what day it is. It's Tuesday in this game world, not in the real world for me right now. You can get your energy back by sleeping, drinking bean juice, and certain foods. So. Water. 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 And water. Nice. Go explore around a bit or something. What if I just... Oh, yeah, they don't want me to clean this stuff up yet. That's fine. We will explore. There we go. I got a button boy. A fatty mushroom can be used in soups and things. Contains three energy. So there's going to be stuff around town we can, we can pick up. And again, there's going to be various uh, buildings and, and such around town that are kind of closed down. And to get them started back up again, you basically need to collect certain resources and put them in a bin in front of it. And so stuff like the little mushroom I just picked up might be one such thing uh, or different ingredients. We got a little town map here, which is very nice. Tells you where people are if you're looking for them. Maybe they have a, a quest or something. You need to talk to them. And then there's the different buildings. And this is uh, Mead Seeds. I don't have any money right now, right? I have zero gummies in the top left you can see. So that's the currency. Um, but when we go around the town, we you know, there's, there's things we can loot and find as well. Moss Sprouts token. Some sort of token. We got it. There's the the drizzle dribbler for 250 gummies, and then these are the some of the starter seeds. Again, you could buy uh, sweetie beady seeds for five gummies. You've got the the cloth plant seed for 32, carrot seed for two, and this the selection will expand in time as well as we unlock stuff. And then we can also trade. That's a cool thing. Uh, I only have the button boy right now, but I could sell that and make a little little bit of cheddar. What up, Fub Free? Sometimes I feel like everything I say is totally generic and meaningless. Well, I got news for you. Dance. Dance with Fleeble. So, begin dance battle. As I mentioned earlier, to initiate the battle, you need to you need to meet their demands, their dance demands. So three spore bits, which we can actually find on the ground, and I actually see one right here. It's like a lollipop made out of mold. It's a good source of quick energy. So if we get two more of those, we could actually fight these fleebles. And then uh, if we win, we get a Fleeble Seed. We can plant it in the garden. And then after it grows, we can add it to our little dance team. Crumberry, nice sweet berry. So we'll collect those. We can chop this. It costs a lot of judo chop. A lot of energy. But these, uh, these planklets are, again, used to... Uh, to open up various buildings and there for quests and all that kind of stuff. And and other crafting recipes. Hello, Dibby. Friends are like virtual assistants who don't know the temperature. They might know the temperature. Quib. Spiky and sweet. Contains three energy. Yo, what up, Mayor? Help Tinsel with this task. Reopen Town Hall gets you access to Tinsel's task board. What do you got for me? Nice, you found the town again. Probably noticed my open office layout. And that it's cardboard boxes. Turns out an aggressive little clicky claws has made Town Hall its home. Every time I try to go in, it starts biting my ankles. I guess they voted for the other guy. Maybe if you make a big show of beating them in a dance battle, it'll be enough to get them to leave so I can start using my office. Be prepared to ride on the other side of the door. I will tell you, these clicky claws are very fierce. But first, 
Gimme. Gimme all your resources. New ooblet spotted. Clomper. Dance? You need two sweet beanies. I got none. We found a scrap. The incidentals remain unalerted to the presence. Operations continue as unplanned operative. Uh, you know, I was playing this earlier. I found a bunch of these. Don't know what's going on. It's some, something fishy. A fancy mushroom. Borgus. <gasps> I have three spore sporbits. Oh, hello, Taffy. I like Taffy. Yes, 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 yes. Can I, I want to fight these guys now. Hello. Oh, there's the leader. Dance. Yes. Fleeble challenge you to, challenges you to a dance battle. Bring it. I'm ready. Oh, baby. So here we go. Oh, this is nice. Gain a beat right out of the, the start. That's very nice. I would like a hype card in my starting hand for sure. Can't always get what you want. But what we can do is a little flippy floss for seven points. And then a little Lindy for two. We're almost halfway to our goal after our first hand. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Dainty dip for three. I'm not scared. Add one fluster to the opponent. Oh, so the fluster is the opposite of hype. So now this flip floss, it was worth seven points. It's now worth six. Trot was worth four. Now we're three. Takey tap tap was three. Now it's two. You see what I'm saying? So we can we can kind of counteract that with our glaze glide. Get one hype. So we'll basically be back to neutral. So you can see in the in the left there, the fluster is the little green down arrow. So getting downvoted on Reddit. End turn. Earn one point. You're not gonna catch up with one point at a time. And of course the, the dances will you'll be fighting multiple enemies later on. Things will get harder, you know, as we're we're fighting uh, higher level ooblets and such. But it does it eases you into it, which which I do appreciate. Um you know what? We are going to steal three of your points because it gives me three and removes three from you so it's a six point swing or gap which is nice and then we'll earn two more all right we should have this in the bank on the next turn oh just a little bm we'll gain a beat even though we don't need to had to move from my hand. No, okay, okay. Let's finish them. Bam. I win. Look at that. Good job, Tud. Get a seed from Fleebel? Yes! Yes! Don't even ask. Just poop it out, dude. Poop. Stinky mushroom. Plant me to grow a new friend. I will. In fact, I'm gonna do it right now. Time is of the essence. If you hover over these guys, you can see lump stump, 0.5 days. And then we'll be able to harvest. These guys are two days, so we'll need to keep them. And there, there is fertilizer and other things you can apply to your garden to either make things grow faster or just make it easier. Uh, eventually, we're gonna have a, a much, much larger, gar larger garden because you're not only just gonna be growing your ooblets but really there's a lot of resource plants and stuff that we'll use to either sell again for various quests or maybe even crafting food stuffs so we'll do this like so and we will grab that guy and then we'll water and Bob's your uncle now, for some reason, I still... Oh, yeah, I can actually break these now. Okay. Don't want to use too much energy. 
but and as you can see in the bottom right as we break these various things we're getting goodies nerny precious little bits these are very often used for the quests so that's a good get so we got plus two nernies there i'm gonna pull that weed out i don't think you get anything for weeds oh that's not true we got a we got a nerny Nernies are kind of like a generic thing, right? So we just, I don't, you actually get other things. And then they're just kind of converted into Nernies. There was a paper clip there, but it just becomes a Nernie. You see what I mean. Anyways, I don't want to use all my energy there. Let's go do the task. But first, I think I see something glowing. Obs obsidian! Rare mystery pebbles found throughout Oob. Thought to be a hardened byproduct created by Gleamy Ooblets. So those are kind of like the rare Ooblets. And uh, Oob City, it's rare. It's good stuff. Alright. Let's go do this battle. But first, oh, this mushroom. I'm going in. This is Town Hall. Dance challenge from Clicky Claws. So these guys, you know, he's taking over Town Hall. He's trying to get us to back off. I will not. Your squad. Let's go. I, I just love that everybody gathers around. They dance along. Bump, 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 bump. All right, so. Of course, we're gonna start with a hype. You know how we do. Investing in our future. And then we'll earn earn the five points with that sweet, sweet trot. And we're done. It is nice that we get to go first. I don't know if that's always going to be the case. But in all the battles that I've done thus far, um, it is. Let's see here. Do we want to gain a beat? Doesn't really help us to do that, because unless we wanted to play both of these, but really I want to get more hype. Just in case. Now there's other maneuvers as, as well. Like the battles get a little bit more interesting than what you've seen so far. You can stun enemies. Um, you can kind of uh, add cards that are basically dead weight. Um and so on and so forth. So it's 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 pretty neat. But like I said, it's not too complex and and too min maxi necessarily, uh, which may be a selling point for some people. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, we're good. Dude, let's go. Two to gain one hype. Hmm. At this point, no. I mean, we can win. We've got lethal. Mouth. Don't, don't miss lethal, okay, buddy? Bam. I win. Give me my seed. Yo, Tud has leveled up. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. He's level two. And we learned a new move. Tad Polka. Gain one point every time a move is played this hand. That is new. I've never, cause I I didn't uh, take Tud in my my little live stream playthrough. Uh, so this is this is new. I like that. One point every time a move is played this hand. So there are some moves that cost zero beats. I mean, this one costs zero beats, but there's other zero beat moves that could be pretty powerful. And I think, I wonder if that works with hype. If we played a hype, I wonder. No, that would be pretty, that'd be pretty powerful. I don't know, maybe it does. We'll have to find out. Maybe? Good job, little clicky claws. You did great, even though I just utterly destroyed you. Thank you for your seed. <laughs> He's still dancing. He's angry dancing. I knew you could do it. I totally hadn't come to terms with the per uh, permanence of my cardboard outdoor office. 
Now that I can use Town Hall, we can get started on all the projects I have planned to save Badge Town. Here's what I'm thinking. Uh oh. Tinsel's tasks. So this is cool. Uh, you know, various things we'll get to work on to to kind of clean up town and and open up various buildings and such. So the the ones we have available right now are these top four, the ones that say available. We unlock these other ones as we level up our actual character. Um, so you get level ups at the end of each day uh, by doing various things, being social, uh, doing chores, you know, uh, dance battles, collecting resources, all, all that kind of stuff. Everything kind of uh, works towards your overall character level. So fix the friendship sticker, printy press, repair the old farmhouse, aka my home, help uh, Ragnolia, start her ooblet research project, and reconstitute all the mystery cans. So, I know there's a lot to do, so we probably start with some of the easier ones. First thing you should do is fix up your house. Bit of an eyesore. You can also see what else needs to be done by walking around town. Anywho, I'll be moving into my new office here if you need me. Complete. Reopen town hall. Yay! So the cool thing about this, you've got all these little container-like things. And as we collect different ooblets, you don't put the living ooblets in here like you may think. Um, they're actually statues of them. But uh, when you put them in here and you get a whole collection, you get some, some bonus stuff, I guess. I, I haven't actually got a full collection uh, before. But, um, you know, you can work towards it. You can see there's quite a few. Let's go in the office, see if there's any loot. Any loot? No. It's a pretty nice office, though. Gives you an idea of the kind of furniture and stuff we'll be able to put in our home eventually. It's locked. This one we can go in, right? Uh-oh. Officer Zuffle. Is that you, Plubbered? No, you're not Plubbered. Who are you? My mouth, dude. Well, how do then? I'm Chief Officer Zuffle, Chief of Police, Postmaster, Notary Public, and Chief Commissioner of Woods and Forests. Welcome to town and let me know if you find out whatever happened to Plubbered. I killed him. Look. Recipe piece. A bit of paper with some bits of recipe on it. So you'll find these around town. And once you get so many bits of recipe paper, they add up and you unlock an actual uh, recipe in our little, where is it? Not here. It's somewhere else. Oh, I had it there. Ah. Left trigger, there we go. Different recipes and stuff. Look. I got a gummy. That's our first dollar. Quib tart. A simple pastry made from quibs. Contains their energy. So we could eat that to gain energy. Uh, it could also be used in some battles. Or some dance battles to initiate them. Right? Another recipe. Let's go. It's a pretty nice jail cell, to be honest with you. Alright. Let's get out of here. Now, this is one of our tasks. Is to clean up the, the cans. Where's all this trash even coming from? I don't know, man. But we're going to clean it up. And I'm going to show you the reconstitutor. Get out of here, it's toxic. Arvin, what are you doing, man? My newsletter is just me asking people if they want to hang out. Honestly, I'm I'm with it. Dumb burb. I need two muzz. I don't got I don't got it. Recipe. Let's go. <gasps> I 
I see some trees I can shake. No, I don't want to talk to Vinion. No, initial contact made with Obanoid variant. What variant designation are you? Huh? Your name by local standards. Oh, I'm Mouth. Obanoid variant Mouth noted. You may refer to me as Vidion. Hi. That's what I wanted. All right, we've got next to no energy. So what I'm gonna do is get some because the day is still young. The day is mine, Trebek. And you can see in the top right, our energy slowly going back up. So here's the reconstitutor. It's very unsafe. No safety guards. Clear all mystery cans being dumped mysteriously in Badge Town and use them to make bait. So bait allows us to fish and you can get some stuff out of the water. Not actual fish, which is kind of sad. At least not from what I've seen. But maybe someday. Please do not lick the reconstitutor. I wasn't about to do anything like that. Apologies. We've had some prior issues with valid re invalid reconstitutor inputs. What is the reconstitutor? It's a machine that transforms a variety of things into slurry. Said slurry can then be processed into sea dangle bait. Sea dangle bait? Surely you must know sea dangling. Sea dangling! It's when you put stuff on a string and dangle that string into the sea to catch things. Look, there's a sea dangling spot right over there. I see it. Try it for yourself. Uh, it's very simple. Even for you. Wow. Here's some bait. Thanks, brother. It is really quite simple. There's no, like, timing or anything. You just... You go here. You select your bait. You hit cast. And you wait. And... I got a gummy. It's only one gummy. But you get different stuff too. See dangling. Very straightforward. If you collect any mystery cans, be sure to put them in the reconstitutor to get more bait. And again, do not lick the reconstitutor. Well, it's just a big toot. I don't want to lick a toot. So. Where are these cans? We got 14. Put them in. I think you can only put in, yeah, 12 at a time. And then uh, they take time to to reconstitute, so I can come back later. And while I'm waiting, I'll collect a sea plop. Comes from the ocean. And a shell bow. It doesn't, it doesn't pop up like this every time. It's just because these are new things. Okay, cool. I'm not going to chop that. It takes a lot of energy, which I do not have a lot of right now. But I will take all these shovels. Hello, Elsley. I got my ooblet to stop chewing my shoes. I guess you could say I'm an influencer now. Boo. Ooh. I've earned a new badge incoming. Let's go. Gastro glob? What a beautiful sea swirl. It looks like a big old thing of like chewing gum. Nice. Yo, what up, bro? Two mouth, mare tinsel. Hop dob, you earned your first badge. We're all about badges here, so here's hoping I'll be awarding you with a bunch more. Check your grum, blah, 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 grumbar for what other badges you can get. Collecting. Collect 60 forageables. And gimme. And with that, with getting the badge, we got 40 wishies. So like I was showing you earlier, wishies are used to unlock, you know, various blueprints or uh, a way of buying some consumables and things that I don't think we could otherwise just just get or not 
get so easily anyways. Reconstitute. Yo, let's go. So we can get a bait. It takes 10, 10 slurry to make one bait. We can add that. You can even add, you can see various other items that we picked up. At the bottom, it tells you, okay, this is worth one slurry. That's worth three. That's worth one. So on and so forth. But we don't necessarily want to do that. Because we can use them for other things as well. Reconstitute all the mystery cans. He's done it. Now that I have the bait, I will go fishing. And hope we get something good. Yoink. Come on. What, what the heck is that? I got a pop top. You pop it and you lock it. Reconstitutable garbage from the sea. It's a resource. So I don't think there's much else we can do with it. So I might as well put it in here. It's taking up space, and my inventory is already getting pretty, pretty, pretty full. Going to turn this town into something amazing, like the ice cream sundae for dinner of towns. Did you guys dance? Ah, no. All right. Since I'm so low on energy, I will go back home. But first, I'll talk to you. You're still here? If you're sticking around, you should get on my good side. It might come in handy. Nope. Nope. He's a weenie. You'll see. Oh, we got mail. Took me way too long to figure this out. So you might not know yet. You can find nernies in rocks laying around your farm. Best way to get them. Here are a couple I've already found. Yo, let's go. And... This is a great introduction to showing how you upgrade buildings and open up buildings and all that stuff. So you see a little bin outside of them. And then you can start depositing the various resources that are needed to complete said project. A pair of the old farmhouse. Get settled into town by fixing up your musty, decrepit shack into a less terrible shack. So, we need 12 planklets, 8 nurnies and five clothlets. So, I'll add you, nine of 12, two of five, eight of eight. Nice. So, to get the plank uh, lets, we basically break up wood around, which is, is pretty easy to find. It does take energy to, to break it up. The clothlets, you can find them. Uh, we could buy them. Uh, or we could plant the seeds and eventually harvest it for ourselves. How's this stuff doing? <gasps> 2 0.25 days. Lump stump is almost ready to go. So when we wake up, he should be good to go. He should be good. Anyways, we're gonna leave. We're gonna we're gonna end on a cliffhanger. Maybe. No. Let's wait for let's wait for lump stump. We'll harvest them and that'll be the end of the episode. I I don't want to I don't want to end on a cliffhanger. But that said, I am going to need to consume a little bit more food. Because while we wait, I like to do a couple chores. Maybe get some planks. Slash clean things up around here. What's up, Tud? There we go. We'll deposit. Done. Okay, basically the clothlet is the is is definitely the bottleneck here. The lowest common denominator. Let's pull some of these. And as time goes on, you know, more weeds will pop up. There'll be more rocks and, and all that kind of stuff. So you got to keep, you got to keep the, the farming 
tip-top shape. Oh yeah. I do enjoy smashing the rocks. Alright, I'm almost out of energy. Please. <gasps> Please! I want my lump stump. Maybe if I run this way. And then we come back. Oh, you want to talk? What up, Charles? How do? A likely story. Oh, let's go in the furniture shop. I like this place. So the furniture kind of changes around a bit every day too. There's this this common treasure chest. So I think that that will give us more storage space in our home. But we can't furnish it until we we finish the first uh, upgrade. There's a wallpaper and paint. Sprin runs the shop here. Moving in, huh? I'm Sprin, designer and maker and seller of furniture from my shop. Manatwee. When you're ready to buy some furniture for your shack thingy, hit me up. Nice little rocking chair. It's a nice black iron chair. Old country armchair. That looks comfy. The mid-century armchair. I really like that one. As well, there is a, um, can't go in that door. This is a fabric cutter. It allows us to make some of the more advanced recipes. So the Oob Coop, a place for Ooblets to hang out and help maintain your farm. Ooblets will perform tasks and speed up growth of your crops. So once we have so many Ooblets, we'll, we'll need this for sure. But you can see it takes three clothlet, bunch of nerny, bunch of planklets, and obsidian. This is a cruncher, turns crops into the powdered forms, must be operated by an ooblet. So you actually have your ooblets help you do various tasks. And then there's some sprinklers down here and some, these are wooden paths. It's pretty neat. That said, I think I think we're gonna be able to harvest our little little ooblet. I hope. You know what? We're gonna have to sleep on it. First thing in the morning, we're gonna harvest them. I will not end on a cliffhanger. And there you go. So you can see all the XP from things found, you know, if you craft items, harvest crops, plant seeds, all that. You get XP from doing this. And then up top, we're we're getting much closer to level two. I did good. I really need a blanket. Start collecting wishies. Earn them from completing daily goals, earning badges, completing tinsel tasks, winning dance tournaments. Spam wishies at the wishy well in town. As you level up, you'll unlock new wishy well options. Bum, ba, dum. <gasps> You've got mail. Thought you might be interested. I got a new fanny pack in stock if you're looking to increase how much stuff you can carry. Charles, I am. <gasps> Are you guys ready? Yay! It's Lump Stump! A woodsy ooblet found in the forest around Badgetown. Scientists are divided on classifying Lump Stump's head branches as ears or horns. I did it! Yay! Celebrate! What are these guys? Even though they're not dry, Gonna water them anyways. You can't stop me. And then we'll be able to uh, fleeble, har harvest fleeble in 0.25 days. Anyways, that's where I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna call it here 
for now. Bit of a longer episode, but it's a, the first one. We kind of got to get through all the, the tutorialization and such. And uh, I think we've made some pretty good headway with that. So we'll keep it on, uh, keep it going tomorrow. Get some more tasks done, expand the garden, uh, you know, level up, do more, more battle, all that good stuff. All that good stuff. We're just getting started. So uh, if you enjoyed this, you had a fun time and you want to see more, uh, please consider, you know, liking to, to, to help out and, and let me know that, uh, more is desired and it was enjoyed and of course if you're new around here please consider subscribing and, and hitting the little bell because again that's a, a good way to make sure you don't miss more episodes if that is indeed what you are uh hoping for and comments too tell me how are things uh if you're playing along uh you know what's your favorite ooblet and all that stuff it's good times i uh i very much am enjoying this game thus far so That'll do it. Thank you all very much for hanging out, and I will see you tomorrow for the next one. Until then, peace out.